Hello! I am going to show you guys a few exercises that are kind of core activators and more of that foundational implementation of core work um, here on the mat. And so we're going to utilize a couple objects. I'm going to use my handy dandy Pilates ball at home. This could be for you a child's ball, uh, paper towel roll, pillow that you just kind of fold in half and put between the knees. Um, but we're going to utilize this for a little inner thigh work and kind of stabilize and support the core. And then I'm also here going to use my box. Now at home, this is about a one foot high box, which could, you know, in my home space, oftentimes I use, um, a laundry basket just kind of flip it over to put the feet on otherwise you can go a little higher with like an ottoman or put your feet up on the couch or something like that so something that's sturdy and stable for you um, and I'll kind of walk you through what how this is gonna go I'm gonna show you a few progressions so we're gonna come down to the mat space I'm going to place my ball or my object between my knees and I'm going to find a nice comfortable position laying down on my back. Okay, so my heels are just lightly resting down on the box. Okay, now we want the ball to have a little energy here. Okay, so you're going to give it a little tight squeeze. You don't have to kill it or pop it, but I just want you to feel some activation in your inner thighs. That's going to kind of just help wake up some things and support the core system. Now, first and foremost, we need to make sure our core is on. So we're going to start with breathing before we get into this marching. I'm going to place my hands here at my lower rib cage for a little better visual. For those of you at home, you can place them here or you can have hands down at your sides. So with your inhalation breath, I want you to picture filling a balloon with air. You're going to fill your lungs. Inhale, expand. And then as you exhale, start to draw your belly down and in like you're giving it a hug. Okay, inhale, expand. Notice my belly does rise, it does go up, but I'm focusing that inhalation through my ribs here. That's your diaphragmatic breath. Now, as I exhale, hug it in. All right, so we've got diaphragm and transverse abdominis. Let's do one more. And exhale. So what we are doing here is we are learning to contract and to turn on two out of our four core muscles, okay? So you're turning on your diaphragm by that nice, good expansion breath, and then you're turning on your deep belly, your transverse abdominis, with that exhalation and drawing in maneuver, okay? So that's the waistline gets narrower, it hugs in like you're wearing a tight corset or a tight dress, okay? so. That is something that I would want you to practice and be really good at before we advance to this next motion. So this next advancement, I'm gonna say layer number two, is once you've got that core activation on and off down, now we need to challenge it a little bit deeper, a little bit greater. So I'm gonna place my hands down at my sides and we're gonna go into something called TA marching. So I'm gonna turn on my core system by in inhaling first. Exhale, turn it on and stabilize. Now, holding my belly down, I've got my core on. I'm gonna start to float my right foot just a few inches off of the box. And notice my knee or my shin kind of comes to a parallel tabletop position. Now, as soon as I lifted my leg up, there's a lot more happening here in my core. I'm not gonna work really hard to keep my belly pulling down and in. Now, watch my hand for a second. I'm gonna let go of my core and I'm gonna do it the wrong way. Do you notice how my hand went up? There's a difference between this, which I'm drawing in, I'm not sucking in, I'm drawing in with my muscles, and then this, which is the no-no, which is, I, my abs are tight right now, but I'm pushing out. You do not wanna push out and create this hill or pop your back up when you lift your leg. 
If that's happening and you can't control it, then you need to go back to step one. You need to go back and practice more of your breathing and your contraction before you start to lift the leg. I promise it's worth it. It is not worth practicing the wrong way. So I'm gonna demo a few of these marches for you. So inhalation, expand. Exhale, draw it down and in. Now that I'm stable, I keep my back down. I lift my leg up. Inhale, back down. Exhale, draw the belly button spine. Once I feel strong and stable in my core, then I float my foot. Inhale, back down. Exhale in. And lift. So it's really slow. Last time here. Inhalation is my reset time. My both feet are supported. Exhale, engage the core. Hold the core steady, then move and float the foot. All right, so that's phase two, level two, whatever you want to call it, with the marching, okay? Now, phase three, we're going to do marching, but now it's a square march instead of a single leg march. So what this looks like, is you've got two legs that are going to be active. Breathe in. Exhale, belly button spine, find your core. Float, so it's the same setup. Now, holding here, I'm gonna float my other leg. If you need to bring your knees a little closer to your chest to keep your back down and to keep your belly down, you can do so. Again, we don't wanna see a pop of the belly or a pop of the low back space, so keep pulling it down. Now, reset one leg down, the other leg down. Okay, so I did that pretty long holding at the top. I don't want you to do that because then you're going to hold your breath. Okay, Let's, let me show you again in real time. Breathe in. Exhale. Good. So it is the pattern of breath, engage, Lift, lift, lower, lower, okay? And I would take turns with your marching and your square marching, alternating sides. Now here, this is advanced, I am able to talk to you. I'm able to move a little quicker. I don't have to coordinate it so much with my breath, but my core, is engaged this whole time. That is, that's super advanced. But just so you kind of get a picture with where this is going, we have to engage that core system, multiple muscles at one time surrounding your trunk. And then we layer it up, then we advance it. And that's how it turns into core work that starts to look like crunches, that starts to look like planks. But we have to start here. So I hope that you guys find this helpful. Again, think of this as a layer one, two, three. I show them to you in this series very quickly for the purpose of being able to kind of get the full picture and the spectrum and have something to work on and to work towards. But please be true to your body, honor it, and really be honest with yourself of what layer are you working on? What layer are you successfully challenged with? 